Uh, hello guys. Well, I was just uh, uh I got some of these uh, little transistors in these two M three nine zero fours because I want to make a little uh, FM transmitter. But anyway, I was just like fucking around and um. I had a little bit of a problem with one of my little slayer exciters. Well, I'd say it's little, it's quite big. Um, if you've seen my other videos, you'll see the, the couple of slayer exciters that I've built. Um, and because I had a little bit of trouble with it, and I just sort of forgot the workings of it again, I, uh, I thought I'd build a little tiny, a little tiny one. Um, this is based around the two, 2N2222. Transistor, really commonly available. You get about a hundred of them for about a hundred pennies from China. Uh, and yeah, and this is this runs off below nine volts. It's actually set up in a, a two hundred milliamps eight volts um, a power supply. Um, as you can see, positive comes in here, hits on this rail, goes through a resistor um, to the base of the transistor. On the other side of that resistor, uh, we're going round into the primary, uh, sorry, the secondary coil, um, and after that, going to the negative, but it's switched the other way around, it's the protection diode. So the positive is actually going into negative, and the positive is going to this, um, this connection here. Or should I say, the positive is going to the negative rail to your negative connection. And the negative is going to this connection here to the base. From the emitter, we're coming straight on to the negative rail again. And from the um, the collector side, we're going to one side of the, the primary. Um, and the other side of the primary just hits us on the positive rail before the resistor. Now, the great thing about using an LED instead of a straightforward um, diode is the LED is a light emitting diode um, it will light up when the circuit's correct so it's a good indication that the circuit's working or not so don't expect too much from this uh, I think that this um, these little transistors if I remember correctly are about 200 millivolts something like that and they, they can give you a bit of a surge 500 millivolt I, I can't remember probably should look it up really uh, but I'm not going to give it too much welly anyway. Like I said, I've restricted my power supply to 200 milliamp just to keep it on the safe side. I don't expect to see any breakout at this. Um, I will push it a little bit. I've got a big old bag of these transistors, but just for now, it's just to show that this little circuit works. I'm just going to um, I'm just going to flip on the power supply. And as you can see, the LED lights up. Um, you won't see any breakout from the top here because it is just not that powerful to do it. I can feel that. I don't know if you can. If I turn that light off, look, you might just be able to see. The smallest little bit. You can see it definitely dimming there. Yeah, it's the smallest little tiniest bit. Just enough to give a little tiny, uh, little tiny bit. But I have got. Is it young? Right, here it is. I got a little bit. Um, I mean, that's not terribly bright. It's not. I think this is a 20 watt bulb or something. I'm not quite sure. But it just goes to show. You know, even with the. I, I, I don't know how many turns are on this coil. There's a couple of hundred. A couple of hundreds maybe two and a half hundred something and there's four on the primary I've not even tried to tune this I've literally just chucked this together uh, powered it up to see if I've got the see if I've got the thing the right way around and lucky for me I did um, and yeah most basic simplest there's no capacitor on this or anything if I wanted to get a little bit extra from it I'd probably put a capacitor there but then we need to start trying to cool this transistor or use something else uh, before I've only ever used the uh, TIP or TIP 35C um, on them before so yeah the most simplest basic 2N 222 2 <laughs> uh, 
but the tiny Slayer Exciter coil. With absolutely no tuning whatsoever. So I don't know if I need a, an extra turn on there to get a little bit extra you know, resonance out of this, because as you can see, I mean, my other one I can go into a different room. Uh, well, I said there's about a metre, a little bit more than a metre. Um, I don't have anything else to show that it lights up uh, in here. I'm not actually prepared to do this one. I can put that on top of there. Get it to balance. Yay! There we go. Well, like I said, the power supply over there. I don't know if you can see it. But it's most definitely. Whoops. I can't get that to stay up. Yeah, it's going to stay up all the way now. Yeah, it's going down by itself. I'm sure I'll lock the table now, which will not the light off. And, uh, yeah, six minute video. Way too long for this silly little thing. There you go. If I turn that up to 9 volt, let's just give it 9 volts for a, for a, for a few few seconds. I don't know. Blow anything up or. Does that make any, any real difference? Not really, but I expect that the transistor might be getting a bit warm now. Is it? Let's see. Ouch! Yes, that is. I'm going to knock that down to 7 volts and then turn the power up. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.